I just watched a video from a Gen Xer who feels like she just woke up. How did we get here? I bought it all. I bought a house. I went in the army. I served my country. I'm disabled. I'm trying to get 100% disability because of my pain. And I don't medicate with morphine. I work every day. I have to. At one point in my life, in the not so distant future, I could afford my home with my wife. And now I have two roommates. Like, when only five people have all the money. And they just print it when they want to. And they just send it away to places that they have special interests in. Because this whole world is led by evil fucking corporations that feed us fucking garbage. <laughs> Come on, man. The very first, like, I woke up and saw it all for what the fuck it is. Hi, Hi guys. guys. Welcome back to our channel. In case you're new here, my name is Maren. And I'm Maureen. So in today's video, we're going to be reacting to a palm-colored person who was having a meltdown and he used to be in the military. He was having a meltdown because he now comes to the realization that America has been lying to the white population, not only to the white population, but Americans in general. Right. So in this video, let's just say he had his wake-up call and he just realized that he has been fighting someone else's war but we don't want to talk a lot guys let's just watch this video and then we come back and talk about it if you have not subscribed can you consider doing so and let us know what you think about this episode on the comment section let's watch and then we come back and talk about it <laughs> i fought for this shit i believed it i thought 9 11 was fucking real <laughs> what a fucking joke man you think baltimore was fucking real you think that bridge just collapsed like that? And the same motherfucker! And I went in the army because 9 11! The same motherfucker had an insurance policy on a bridge that randomly got blown to bits by a boat in a fucking building! Has anybody ever thought, yeah, two planes hit those two buildings, but that fucking building just collapsed? With no plane hitting it. Meanwhile, passengers like me who want to fight for America take a fucking terrorist out. It was bought by a fucking corporation to do this in the beginning. They crash somewhere else. Maybe that plane was supposed to hit that fucking building and they could explain that one away. What has happened to our fucking country? My friend just told me that his good friend is down in Panama. He's like an ex-CIA SF guy. And he's watching people show up in hundreds and hundreds because there's no passport or immigration rules in Ecuador or some shit like that. And they walk the dairy and all the way here, man. This is designed... It is like a fire sale right now. They are fucking printing money and our whole money system is built on debt. It's a joke. It's the world's greatest Ponzi scheme that they have convinced the masses to just do whatever the fuck they say. I'm a woke motherfucker now, dude. And I am Gen X. And I played in the streets until the fucking lights came on or it was dark. And if you weren't home, they were coming for your ass. And they knew where you were. I didn't never had a phone. The internet came about and I was like, fuck that shit. I resisted computers. 
I just went to work and exchanged my time for money that they took in tax, 50% of, and sent it elsewhere for evil designs. People, we somehow have remained politically silent being okay with our little bubbles that we create. I think that's what Gen Z, do, Gen X does is create bubbles that make it okay to live. And what we're seeing as part of this waking up is the fact that we can't live in that bubble anymore. And this is why. I'm so fucking fired up. This poor lady has worked her whole life. And her and her husband just admit to the whole world on TikTok that they can't pay their fucking bills. I say we boycott them and I say we hit them where it hurts. I want everybody that sees this to follow. <sighs> Cancel my clothing subscription or some shit like that. It's the guy on the internet. He's, he's getting real famous and he's putting graphs on his website of who owns everything. And it's the same fucking people, people. Wise up. The only way that we can take control is to not give them our money. Spend your money at the local gar market. Whatever money you have left. Grow a garden. Collect rainwater. Build a fucking generator. Take out a credit card to do it if you have to. And quit fucking paying the credit card. Because it's a joke. But get independent, people. It's a movement. And if they can't control us, walk away. Walk away from the system. I hate it. There's only a few places free in the world. And I'm in Alaska. And I'm not in everybody's bubble right now. I'm in my own, but I feel it because of this fucking app. I've only been on TikTok a week. This is my second fucking video and I'm fired the fuck up, people. Wake up, do the right thing, fight the corporations who own our politicians. Do not let them divide us. We are the same thing. We're all people trying to be okay, trying to survive. We're not trying to be greedy. We're trying to work for an honest living. That's what we, we thought our whole lives, that's what we were supposed to do. Exchange our time for money. We just don't want it taxed anymore, motherfucker, okay? We want to be able to afford our bubble. And we'll go back in that fucking bubble when Gen X fixes this shit. I don't know what we got to do, but I'm on board. So guys, welcome back. Let us know what you think about this episode. Mm, so what this palm colored person is saying is very, very important. And in this day and age, you have to realize and you have to ask yourself because there's a lot of things that's going on in the world. And by the time someone comes to the realization that what they're fighting for is not actually what they thought they were fighting for and it's not how it was presented to them, but something else totally different. Mm -hmm. You know... The palm colored man was describing how rich people are the ones who, you know, they sponsor these terrorists that come into America or that happen in any other place, you know. And then they send people to go out there and fight in a war that they themselves have started themselves. Right, and selling know, them some BS stories. Yeah, this just reminded me of another video I watched on TikTok of another retired soldier, of course, who was uh, explaining how he came to find out because he was amongst those who was um, deployed. I don't know if it's in Iran or Iran. Iraq, one of those two that has oil, you know, and there, when they were being deployed there, they were lied to that. That nation was uh, building mm. atomic bombs, mm. you know, so that was the reason for them being deployed there. Only for them to find out later that they were actually deployed there to go and guard a resource of oil that had been found in Iran or Iraq. I'm not sure one of those two countries, you know. Mm -hmm. So, guys, when, when normally you're told to watch out for the big corporations, mm -hmm. just watch out for the big corporations. 
corporations because these are the people who are destroying our societies, our government, and our countries. And another thing also I want to bring your attention to is if you remember the situation that happens in Libya. I feel like Libya, Iran, Iraq, they'll always, they'll always forever be, be a big example. A, a big example. example. They'll be the biggest poster children for such um, scenarios, you know. Mm -hmm. And this guy mentioned something about 9-11 so that we go back to history and look at things that have events happened. that have followed exactly and you ask yourself what is true what is reality and what is not mm -hmm. this guy talked about 9-11 and by his own admission he talks about um one of the things that mo motivated him to join the army was the 9-11 situation he believed he was defending his country mm -hmm. he believed he was fighting for a cause only to come out and find that his his whole entire uh career Belief system exactly was, was a built lie. on lies mm -hmm. and this guy talks about the concept consequences of um, him joining the army and defending his country. Right now he's left with pain. He's trying to finish off a house. A house he thought when he was joining the army, he was gonna finish paying off mortgage and live with his wife. But right now he's living a man full of regrets a man who is in pain and, and he has of his disabled he's disabled trying to get some benefits as a disabled member of society and also living with roommates meaning his life has not amounted to good yield, yielding and you guys you look at such situations and say and ask yourself is it that um the common people are allowing themselves to be used by such corporations because at the end of the day after you finish doing their biddings they, they discard you like you like you're, not you're even, nothing like you're nothing mm -hmm. but i wouldn't also blame such people because we have to really think about how serious brainwash is how serious brainwash is that is why um right now colonization the effects of colonizations can still be felt. That is why white supremacy is still in effect. And that is why palm colored people still believe they're superior than other races. Brainwash is, uh, is a real thing. Right. Because, you know, when they come back from this wars, yes, of course, they'll have been paid a, a few you know, dollars here and there. But ultimately, the rich people who are sending you to war are the ones who wind up even richer than they were. Like, for example, just take a look at right now, today's scenario, the people who are fighting or instigating fighting right now, like, for example, America and Russia, Russia and Ukraine, all of that, you know, why are these people fighting? Most of them, even uh, France, most of them right now, they're fighting for resources. And these resources, it's not going to benefit the whole entirety of the nation that these, these leaders are coming from. Let's take, like, for example, uh, France and Burkina Faso. Right now, should France manage to colonize Burkina Faso again? Do you think these minerals that Burkina Faso has will benefit the people of France? Mm. Of course not. It's going to benefit uh, the few corporations that are sponsoring these wars, the few corporations that are puppeteering these leaders, you know. Right. Now let's look at the situation that's happening in Congo, okay? I do believe that Congo is going to give birth to a whole entire generation of regretful people similar to this guy we've just watched. Because probably the peacekeepers who've been sent there have been told that they are being taken there just because they have to maintain peace. But there are those higher-ups who know the entire truth, yeah? Mm -hmm. Because they're not there to keep peace. If they were there to keep peace, Congo would not be looking the same in a whole decade and even past more than a decade it's still looking the same and yet armored trucks from the un council uh, are roaming the streets of congo you know some africans have been have even accused this uh armored well not the armored but the un council of smuggling minerals through those armored vehicles mm. you know so they're just there purporting to keep peace but in real sense they're stealing minerals allegedly allegedly so guys i do feel i have a feeling like a lot of these people they're going to be living in regret once they realize it's not they were fighting a rich man's war exactly because at the end of the day 
someone is usually puppeteering everybody mm -hmm. and they make poor people uh, fight against each other as a way of keeping them distracted mm -hmm. and by the time they are waking up just like this uh, punk colored man they wake up with a lot of regret asking them looking back and asking themselves what they've done with their whole entire lives right so guys let us know what you think about this episode but personally I'm, I'm really happy because even this guy for him to talk like this he says for mm -hmm. a long time he had buried his head because he didn't want to get involved with te technology. Mm. He didn't want to get involved with the um, computer. Like, he wasn't even on social media. And when he was, by the time he was releasing this video, he had been on TikTok for only two weeks. Right? Mm -hmm. Two weeks no, or two, two days. days. Two, days. two days. Yeah. He, he had only been on TikTok for two days. And I and, feel like mm -hmm. this gadget technology and the internet is one thing. Nobody right now has the excuse of living in ignorance mm. because right now you learn a lot from this social media apps and let's say you are living in ignorance and you are doing the rich man's bidding when you come across some certain content you you you're obligated to sit down and reflect back and ask yourself some questions okay mm -hmm. you know uh, this is the reason why I thank God for TikTok and other social media platforms, but most especially TikTok, because on TikTok you really get news faster than how you'd normally get with traditional media and all of that, you know. And, you know, Americans have also accused the, the government of America of trying to ban TikTok because of these very same issues and reasons. On TikTok, people really are finding a lot of information that previously weren't readily or easily available as of today. Right. So, guys, Guys, let us know what you think about this episode on the comment section as usual we want to thank you so much for joining us mm -hmm. let's catch you on on the next if you have not subscribed kindly consider doing so and leave us a like and let us know what you think about it